Welcome back today. I'm going to be sharing with y'all some of our new yard sale finds. We went to another yard sale over the weekend and found some exciting pieces and then also some of our recent Facebook marketplace finds. So I hope that you enjoy um, and it's fun to see all these vintage treasures that we found recently. And then I'm also going to be sharing with you my new digital photo frame from Cozy La and I want to thank them so much for working with me on today's video. Cozilla digital photo frames are the smartest digital photo frame on the market and it's a great way to stay connected with your family. Y'all are not going to believe everything that this photo frame can do. First, once you take it out of the box, plug it in and simply turn it on. Next, you're going to want to download the My Cozilla app. There are so many features on the app that you're definitely going to want to use and use it to help set up your photo frame. You can upload all of your photos to the frame right from the app or from Instagram. And I love the idea of gifting someone in your life one of these frames. You can buy the frame and preset the device for remote users so the person that you're gifting the frame to can simply plug it in and play. I love the idea of gifting one of these for a Mother's Day gift with Mother's Day right around the corner. I know my mom would absolutely love one of these. We love looking through all of our old photos, family pictures, and albums. So I love that this is a digital way of having all of our memories in one place. You can also add text and voice memos to the photos. So here's an example. Here's some cute pictures of us on Easter Sunday. Love you. Here's some cute pictures of us on Easter Sunday. Love you. You can also add notes and set reminders to the device with an alarm. Don't forget your appointment is today at one o'clock. Don't forget your appointment is today at one o'clock. It also has a built-in Alexa and can do thousands of built-in Alexa commands. Hey Alexa, play music. Here's iHeartRadio. Alexa, open Cozy Chat. Okay, here's Cozy Chat. Welcome. You can talk to Kazilla Chat GPT now. The Cozy Love Frame is made from recycled plastic materials and the album consists of 12 recycled bottles. It also has unlimited cloud storage on photo and video sharing so you can upload as many photos and videos as you like. I will have a link for you below if you're interested in checking out this photo frame for you or someone you love. Okay, now let's get started with these yard sale finds. Everything we got from the yard sale was a dollar each. Besides the quilt, that was $4. And wait until you see this quilt. Oh my goodness. I'm so thankful to them and so thankful for these prices. Um, and so excited about all of this stuff. So let's go ahead and get started with the first piece. I grabbed this little um, butter wafer tin. I thought it was so cute. I love these tins to put plants in them. I have several of them and I just think they are so cute. Anytime I see one with a really pretty color, I like to grab it. I also like to keep like buttons in these and little like sewing supplies. Like sometimes my um, thread and stuff in these. So love this little tin so old rusty and just such a good deal for a dollar next i grabbed these two old bottles i've always wanted to find an actual old um blue like medicine bottle i think these are so just vintage and cool looking i've never found a blue one i found several like clear ones and amber ones but i've never found one this color so i just thought it was so pretty my parents have some of these displayed in their house that are really really old and I've always just thought they're so cool so I grabbed this one again these were a dollar each and then I also grabbed this one and I'm just gonna like put flowers in these for spring and summer I think they're gonna be really pretty to display okay the next thing I grabbed is this really cool old sewing machine drawer I love these it has like the original tag on it from where it was once at an antique store um but this was one of those really fun yard sales where you just get to dig and dig and we could have just looked around there for hours it was so much fun but this was one of those pieces that was just randomly thrown down in a box and i pulled it out and i was like that is such a good deal for a dollar i have to get it because you can do so much with this i have put like jars in it before to display pens and pencils um, you can do your seed packets in these. They're just really good, not only to like organize and store stuff in, but also just super beautiful to decorate with. Um, I have turned one of them before into like a planter box and planted um, stuff in it, or you can put just like faux flowers in it. So much you can do with them. So 
I grabbed this little sewing machine drawer. Y'all know if you watch my videos, I had to grab this precious little creamer. And then I also grabbed this beautiful blue willow plate because I have some exciting news. We are going to be starting a little online shop. I already have opened my Poshmark account where I post items every so often if I'm decluttering things or getting rid of things. Um, and I'm going to continue to post more on there. Um, I might eventually do like a separate site, but for now it's all going to be just on Poshmark since I already have that started. Um, and it's just a really good way to post pieces for sale. So we have been going through things and listing things that we're getting rid of. And then I'm also going to post pieces like this because even though I don't collect blue willow dishes, um, I know that there's so many of you out there that do. And so this platter might be something that you're interested in. It does have a little chip up at the top, which I didn't notice until I got home, but I still thought it would be worth posting just in case, like I said, any of you are interested in it. If maybe you collect Blue Willow and the chip doesn't bother you, if you've been wanting like a platter or something like that for your collection, um, you can just check out my Poshmark account. Um, I'm not sure if everything will be posted by the time this video goes up, but a lot of these items um, and a lot of items that we have hopefully will be posted soon. So just keep an eye out and keep checking back. Um, I'm really excited about this. I've posted things, like I said, um, a lot on there that I've just been getting rid of, but I've wanted to really start like actually um, curating items for the Poshmark shop and like just creating a little small vintage shop for so long. I have thought about it for years and years. I've even had some of y'all like say that I should do one, but I just never had, I don't know, the courage to do it because I just didn't know if it would do well um but it's something i'm gonna try so if you are interested in maybe some stuff that you see here like i might list this little creamer um and then this little plate and then some other pieces that we already have um definitely check that out if you're interested and i will continue like i said to post things over time um i've already had a few of you purchase like some candlesticks that i had like some crystal candlesticks and some other really beautiful pieces and if you've got anything i hope that you have enjoyed it and i'm really excited about it so like i said check it out i'll have the link for it down below the next piece is this really cool old cutting board and i could not believe that someone hadn't already grabbed this i just love it i feel like it's so hard to find um really cool like vintage cutting boards and this one looks really old it was like i said a dollar so i had to get it and i'm gonna have my husband sand it down and we're going to oil it with some good food safe oil probably like coconut oil it's really good for polishing like um your wooden cutting boards and spoons and things like that and that's what we normally use so um very excited to get this all cleaned up and displayed in the kitchen i've never found like an actual vintage cutting board this big before that was a reasonable price so i cannot wait to display this with my other cutting boards now for this incredible four dollar quilt can you believe this oh my goodness the floral the colors these are my colors the blue the pink the green oh my goodness and then this side has like some colorful stripes in it it's just so old and so incredible i am in love with this when she said the price i was like oh my gosh are you kidding me but i'm so so thankful that we went at the perfect time and some of this good stuff was still there because they had already been open she said for a whole day before the day that we went and i just could not believe all this good stuff was still left um but that is everything from the yard sale and now i'll take the camera over and share with you oh wait i have one more thing from a different yard sale and then i have the facebook marketplace finds. so let's go okay i'm very excited about this basket of fabric um this was from a yard sale that we went to a day before the one that we found all the stuff at that I just shared. Um, so I bought all of this fabric from this lady. Her mom, she said, was a quilter before she passed away. And this was all of her leftover fabric that her and her husband would quilt with. And so super special. And this is going to make so many beautiful projects. I love buying fabric like this from thrift stores or yard sales or antique stores like in a big bundle like this um instead of buying like little pieces at a time or a yard at a time from 
like a regular fabric store to do projects with because you can get such a good deal on it and a lot of these are so beautiful you just can't find fabric like this anymore like let me find there's some really vintage fabric down in here that is just gorgeous and I feel like you just can't find these vintage patterns as much anymore um, and I just love vintage fabric so much so I'm really excited about a lot of this a lot of these little scrap pieces um, most of them are really small because again they were for um, used for quilting and a lot of them are already cut so some of the really smaller ones are going to be perfect for making jar covers I love to make them to go on my jars of like jam and pickles um, and we're going to be selling at the farmers market this year so that is going to make such cute little decorative toppers to go on our jars of jelly and stuff that we sell and we are also possibly we are hoping this summer we have not got a call yet but we are hoping to open a um, vintage and antique booth at one of our local um, antique malls so hopefully that'll happen soon but we haven't got a call yet of one that's available but we are keeping our fingers crossed that we hear back soon. And when we do, uh, I'm going to be selling like in their little cut pieces of fabric for other people to use on their jars. Um, and then I'm going to be making like just little small things. Um, little napkins like for your dining table and stuff like that with a lot of this fabric. So I'm very excited about all of this gorgeous fabric. It was $20 for all of it. And then there's also some pieces in here that are little pieces that they started to work on and didn't finish so this one is the perfect size for a little throw pillow and I already have a pillow that I can use a little square pillow that'll be perfect for that so that is what I'm going to use this piece for just make a back for it I love this big piece of lace this piece here will be really pretty for summer such pretty colors lots of beautiful florals Okay, the last vintage find I have for this video is this quilt that I literally, again, have no words for. This was a Facebook Marketplace find. I don't have Facebook, but my husband sends me pictures of stuff on there all the time that he finds. Um, and he sent me a screenshot of this quilt one day and was like, this hand-stitched quilt is for sale on Facebook Marketplace. Do you want me to go pick it up on the way home? It was $20. And I was like... Are you sure that it's actually old? Like, make sure you ask them if it's actually a vintage quilt because from far away in the picture, I kind of couldn't tell. I couldn't see the stitching or anything to tell if it really was hand-stitched and if it was truly vintage or maybe it was just like a recreation or something. Um, so, he made sure that it was truly a hand-stitched old quilt and went and picked it up on his way home from work. And when he got home, I was like, this it's just one of the most beautiful quilts I've ever seen. If you can't tell, I have a quilt obsession lately. I feel like it's just my new favorite thing to collect because they are so beautiful. And when you see them for like $20, you just can't help but get it because of how much work went into this. You can't find even a new quilt that is even close to as beautiful as one of these. And also just like the quality of it this is one of those really soft ones too it washed up beautifully and it's just absolutely gorgeous i love cozying up with it right here on this chair so anyways could not pass up this quilt for that price and so don't forget to check facebook marketplace if you're not having luck with finding the pieces that you're really looking for um at your local thrift stores then definitely get on there um and you never know what you will be able to find so that is the last find. Okay, that is all of my vintage and home decor finds for today's video. I hope that you enjoyed watching. Don't forget to also check out the link in the description box for the Cozilla digital photo frame if you're interested. It is such a perfect way to store and manage all of your photos in one place with the unlimited cloud storage. You can upload as many photos and videos as you like. And it's such a great way to also stay connected because you can share the photos and videos with your friends and family and they can leave likes and comments on it. So it's like your own little social circle 
helpful for friends and family to all stay connected um, and it also categorizes all of your photos by time and location which is super great to keep them all organized um, so check it out below if you're interested I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you all in my next video